Dear friends in Jesus Christ, in today's uh, today, let us see the King Herod. You know how his life was and how he behaved John the Baptist. You know this King Herod. He he married uh, his brother's wife. That was not lawful or that was not right. This that was what John the Baptist was telling him, insisting him. So Herod was afraid of him at one and the same time, and also he was. Uh, plus he felt pleasant ple uh, he felt uh, happy to listen to what John the Baptist was said, telling uh, what happened you know his wife whom he married and she was pressurizing him to kill John the Baptist in many occasions but what happened John uh, Herod could not do it because he also believed that he was one of the prophet and whatever he was talking is right he was not talking something wrong so what happened you know like this only the life was going on and then suddenly he arranged a great feast and he invited many captains and then many big guests you know like celebrities as we have today so he invited them and before them his daughter danced well and she pleased him very much and she and he gave a word or a promise whatever she would ask him he was ready to give it up you know she was he was ready to give it to her even half of his kingdom and then what happened his daughter went to his mother and asked what should i ask him then she told her daughter go and ask the head of john the baptist in a dish and he could not refuse it because he had made a promise before the crowd and then he commanded one of the soldiers and bring the John the Baptist head in a dish and it was done you know looking at this incident this act of John the uh, this act of Herod firstly he gave a promise without knowing he just gave a promise so at the time he it may it may well be that he was in the state of little bit little bit drunk and flown with wine so at that time he made a promise and simply if anyone is making a promise when you are not aware of what you are what you are doing so then you have to be feeling sorry later you may have to feel sorry about that decision you had taken earlier so this may happen this is the first thing and secondly he was not a, a, he was very fearful why he made a promise in front of the crowd and these people are not simple people they are guests captains and so on so in front of them he cannot just break the promise if you broke the promise they will laugh at him and you will become a laughter and if you broke the promise then he may they may think that he is weak so he was afraid of that you know he was afraid to think that what they will be thinking of him that they may think about him he is very weak so these are the things was troubling him therefore he could not do anything he ordered okay bring the head of john the baptist in a dish he ordered you know so many times you know in our lives also we also may have to fit go through this or we might have gone through this ex this kind of experience because we may give some word okay i will do it i will do it uh, but sometimes we fail to do it sometimes we have no other option we have to do it because of some prestige or a pride that or ego something we hold in our mind these things you know so these things as as he had done so what happened he had made a big blunder big mistake he had made so how he can live with that mistake so this uh, is self will be accusing him so because he was a reason of allowing the execution of john the baptist so that will be haunting him and uh, that uh, evil thought will be disturbing him why oh, you had made a, such a mistake such a blunder in your life and uh, that will be pressurizing him if he think if he lives alone or if he stays alone and thinks think about it then his thought will return to the wicked thing thing that he had done and obviously then he cannot live with uh, that self or 
with that thinking because his own self will be accusing him the accusing self with with accusing self nobody can live so that will be the situation of him so these things as he was thinking and then he hears that uh, somebody is doing miracle and he is hearing about jesus and thinking began to think oh john the baptist uh, began to raise uh, 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 as reason again so like that you know that thought will be disturbing and making fearful and being afraid so we we need to think dear friends in our lives you know in our lives if suppose we make any mistake so that mistake if it is disturbing you and making you be fearful so then we need to confess that mistake we need to confess that mistake we have to find a resolution for that mistake otherwise you will be always be fearful and uh, anything may happen and for instance you know for simple example now if somebody is uh, trying to hit somebody beat somebody or uh, stab somebody so because he has hit that person so he goes away and what happens he has to be fearful when that person will come and hit him so when he will be alone he may come and hit him so he has to go with his friends he cannot go alone he cannot he will lose his freedom so there will be a fear in him when i am going to be hit by him when he will come and attack me when he will stab me these things will be threatening him that thoughts many thoughts will be disturbing him so therefore dear friends whenever we do mistake let us find a resolution for that if we had to go for confession then we need to go for the confession if we, if we need to go for uh, you know forgiveness to the person whom you are afraid of then we need to talk with the person and come to a point of uh, uh, having come to the point of uh, to build a relationship then you will lose you may not have any fear and your life will be better and you can be doing uh, that uh, accusing self you may not have but you may have joy happiness in your life so let us practice this in our daily life thank you